Hello and welcome to another review video from How to Webmaster. Today I will be reviewing Stack Post and setting this up on my website. And what is Stack Post? It is a web based app that can automatically post and schedule your content to Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. Here I am inside of the demo dashboard for Stack Post. And here's the website that comes with this script for Stack Post. It is a SaaS software as a service kind of website where your visitors or users can sign up for an account and they can post and schedule their content to Facebook, Twitter, Instagram. And here's the features that comes with Stack Post. And basically it is a very nice looking app that can visually plan and schedule your social media campaigns and also provides analytics and performance and you can monitor your engagement and here's the dashboard again and i'll leave the links down below for you guys to check it out you can log in and play around with the settings like facebook right here how it works how you can schedule a new post you can post to your groups facebook page profiles and Instagram and Twitter you can do text content image content whatever you want and here is the sales page for this stack post script and again you can come here and click on the live preview which takes you to the demo website and you can see all the features right here as well and it's got an almost perfect five star ratings with 3527 sales this is an almost unheard of rating i've never seen this kind of high rating before for any products so this is a very high quality piece of app or php script which you can set up on your own website okay so let's get started after you make your purchase and make an account with code canyon or envato market and then you go up to your profile link up here click on downloads and then look for your product stack post right here click on the download button all files and documentations after downloading the stack post it comes in a zip file right here it is about 50 megabytes now log into your hosting control panel cpanel most of the hosting providers will provide you with the cpanel and if you need hosting check out my website down below mywebhostingcoupons.com for my recommendation on web hosting services and basically here once you logged in click on file manager and inside of the file manager click on public underscore html right here and here click on upload then select the file that you just downloaded okay just like this open and now it is uploading once the upload reach 100 percent click go back to public html here is the new uploaded file let's click on the file and then go up here to extract and then extract files and there it is extraction results completed all of these files right here click on close and now you can delete the zip file you don't need that anymore so let's click on the file and then click on delete button right here and let's go ahead and skip the trash and permanently delete the file there it is now visit your website alrighty here's my website automaticposter.com followed by the slash with the install right there folder and as a matter of fact if you just go to the main uh, domain or the main website it automatically redirect to the install folder anyways okay so here welcome to the installation let's click on next and then just read the user agreement and then i read or i read and accept the agreement click on next and now it will check for your status server requirements so for example here php version is uh, this is my current one right here it's the newest one and then required is 7.1 and you get a check mark a green check mark which is good so you want to make sure that you get a green check mark for every one of these and this is automatically checked for you by the stack post installation script and if you don't have a green check mark say for ssl or curl or whatever just go ahead and ask or email your web hosting provider and tell them you need these curl or open ssl or whatever installed or enabled and they'll do it for you if you don't know how 
and then you get all the check marks click on next now in this next step it's asking for your license purchase code and you can find this from your Cold Canyon or Envato account under downloads you can see here license and purchase code just click on that and you will find your code all right after entering your purchase code scroll down here you will see the database connection details now let's go back to your C panel now go and find your databases section right here click on my SQL databases and now here let's create a new database give it whatever name you want I'll just call it stack post to keep it simple let's create a database right there just like that go back now scroll down to where it says my SQL users give it a username and the password and then confirm the password again and then click on create user all right just like that click on create user now let's click on go back scroll all the way down to the bottom where it says right here add user to database and then make sure you select the correct user that you just created and then the database you just created click on add and here click on all privileges for this user and then click on make changes and you will see success right here now let's copy this the whole entire thing and then go back to the install right here so that was the database user paste it in and then do the same for your database name right here and local host 99% of the time is gonna be the database host name so leave that alone and next down here password just enter in your password without the the first part right here you don't need that part for the password just straight uh, enter in your password and now your account details for admin just enter in whatever you want your full name email and password and a time zone and now click on finish installation all right big green check mark installation was successful and now let's delete the install directory so go back to your C panel right here click on install folder and then delete it skip the trash confirm and now click on start now all right just like that the entire stack post website is now installed looks exactly like the demo website and now you can customize all of these things and the, like the text the logo in your admin dashboard and you can start accepting users so let's go ahead and click on login now enter in your admin username and password that you just created let's log in now here's what the dashboard looks like just like in the demo and the first thing I want to recommend is to go to over here in the left sidebar you can click here to expand the sidebar menu and then scroll all the way down click on cron jobs you need to set this up so here we got two cron jobs let's copy this right here go back to your C panel we're not done with this just yet scroll all the way down to it said where it says advanced here you will find the cron jobs click on that and down here under command paste in the command you just copied just like that and now scroll up here a little bit common settings once per minute exactly what it says right here once per minute and then click on add new cron jobs and then go back here and copy the next one once per day so here again we enter the command just like that click here common settings once per day just like that add new cron job and the point of this cron job is to automatically schedule the stack post whatever it is trying to do like posting to users Facebook post Instagram or checking for new updates that's what the cron job does it tells uh, well cPanel will use the commands here and run it on a set schedule and also I want to mention that stack post developer has a very nice extensive amount of tutorials this is their documentation and they have video tutorials on how to set up each one of these right here like Facebook Twitter Instagram and other things okay let's go back and just for today's tutorial it's getting kind of long already I'm just going to set up a quick Twitter profile right here click on add Twitter profile and you will need to find your 
Twitter API configurations and you need to do this for Facebook Instagram these ones have different uh, setup so you need to refer to the documentation on how to do that once you enter in the Twitter API's you can then click on here add Twitter profile and now you can authorize the app so that user can post to Twitter automatically so here's my account how to webmaster let's add the profile okay let's go back to over here account manager you can see under here Twitter profiles I have my how to webmaster and it will appear if you set up for Facebook groups and pages and Instagram profiles so I'm not going to do that today again refer to the documentations on how to set up pretty much everything let's go back here and let's do a quick Twitter post just to show you guys uh, that this works so here I see my Twitter profile I can now post a photo a video a link or a text I'll just do a quick test uh, text and then you can also make a schedule for this tweet or you can post it instantly so I'll just do a instant post right now okay I'll just keep it simple happy Friday text let's do a post now and I forgot I need to select a profile right there okay let's try that again alright content is being published on one profile so now the cron job every one minute is gonna run and hopefully soon it will run and then I get this post on my Twitter okay here it is my Twitter hello everyone happy Friday there it is nice and simple works perfectly so here it is that post that's why they have a five star rating works great right out of the box nothing too complicated Okay, I'll leave the link down below for you guys to check out Stack Post and the demo as well. It's a great piece of web based app. Pretty happy with it. Thanks so much for viewing. I hope this helps. Please be sure to subscribe to my channel, How to Webmaster, for more reviews, tips, and tricks on internet marketing. Thanks so much, and until next time, happy marketing.